On May 29th, 2017, I was fishing a farm pond over in central Oregon. I was fishing with a good friend of mine, Ben Hensley. We were fly fishing for beautiful rainbow trout. Uh, it occurred to me while I was fishing out there, I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, I've been videoing my fishing trips and hunting trips. And, and then I take the raw video home and I spend time editing it on my computer. Uh, we won't get into that, but anyway, there is a process uh, when I'm out fishing that I go through, and I thought maybe I'd like to share that with you. Uh, you may find it interesting, you may not. If you're a fisherman and you ever thought that you might like to try this, uh, this might give you a little idea what goes into it. When I'm fishing lakes or ponds like this, I always bring my pontoon boat. Uh, it's a really stable platform. Uh, I can fish a small area or I can fish a large area. And I usually take two cameras with me. I usually have a head mount uh, GoPro, which is waterproof. Also a permanently affixed swivel camera that I can move up, down, sideways, forward, back. The fixed camera that I use is usually a Sony, uh, a handheld camcorder. In this instance, I'm using um, a Nikon 5100, which I can take snapshots with, but I can also uh, take videos with it. I chose this video track because it's a great example of what you're going to run into when you're out there. Um, you're really busy, your hands are working fast, you have a lot of things to deal with. You have your fishing gear you have to deal with. You have to navigate your boat safely and effectively. And also you have to make sure that your cameras are doing what you want them to do. In this situation, if you look closely, you'll see that on the left side you have bulrushes and I'm fishing a small canal and on my right side, right under me actually, is uh, a thick grass bed that's all the way to the surface. I have my hands full with this fish. He's a big fish and he's working me over pretty good. Um, I'm trying to keep him out of the bulrushes and I'm also trying to keep him out of the grass. So as you can see, I'm in a tricky situation. Since I am fishing, I want to concentrate on fishing and I want to enjoy the experience and I really don't want to have to spend too much time working with the technology. It's a, a great big distraction. So what I want to do is I want to keep it simple. The head mounted GoPro is made to order for this type of thing. It has a good field of view. Uh, I can swivel it around. As you can see I dropped it down so I have a good view of unhooking the fish. And best of all it's waterproof. I practice catch and release with these trout. So as you can see I'm, I'm spending a lot of time trying to make sure that the trout is in my net but he's underwater and that he's breathing okay because I'm planning on, as you can see right now, releasing him.
Cheers.